Is it on? Mm -hmm. okay. Now you were asking me a good question. You may not have a, a beam like this to install on. Well, you don't necessarily have to have a beam. If you have a flat ceiling all the way across, you can install these blinds on a ceiling too. There's a way to do that. There's directions usually in the container and you can either install them flat up on the ceiling or on the side or even up against the wall. Okay, so make sure you look at the type that you're getting and incidentally, this one's 10 foot long. You can get them eight feet long, six feet long. If you need a special order one, you could probably do that through your local hardware store too, but you know, it's usually best if you can get and install the ones that they have. And they come in different lengths, different sizes, uh, all kinds of stuff. So just ask your local hardware specialist and you can do this project too. Great, thanks. Okay guys out there, make sure you read the directions because I'm changing this to a left hand clutch control and at the end it says pull out both end plugs from the tube and switch them. And that was these end plugs. These end plugs right here. You got one at each end and you got to pull them out and flip them around because when you when you install the blind there's an inside and an outside to the blind. So this will make it done the proper way. Okay, so now we just take that and we're going to tap that in. Just here, I got some ch I got some channel locks here. Hey Frankie. Just tap that with the channel lock that way or, or, or you can set it on the plastic whatever, okay? So so now that's that's the proper way. Now You've got left hand and right hand, so you don't have to do that to all of them. We had to do this one to this one here because see this this side here. This is the, this is what I call the inside. So it it looks pretty close to the other side, you know. But but I want the I want the finished side coming directly to me, not on the outside. Okay, so that's why I had to flip those edges around. Now we're ready to slip it up there, and I installed the one end first. And we're gonna we're gonna put the little knuckle side on that and then I'm gonna hold it up here and I just follow the directions and you can do it. Okay. What you got there, Frankie? Let's see that little bracket that you had. That's kind of slick. It's a tie down. So it keeps it from uh... It's a tie down. You can put it right there on that loop like that. Oops. Here, let's here. And this is kind of like this, see? And so you can put that down wherever, and then you can pull this down with some tension, just a little bit of tension. You've got to decide, you've got to decide where you want that if you're going to use something like that, because keep then that the could keep this from flopping around. Because see, we got it outside, and this this will go up and down six feet. So you got can decide. You want it down this low? You want it? You want it up here? Do you want it down to six feet? And then put this down there. And another thing you can do, if you didn't want to use something like that, you could use a bungee cord from here, and then you can put it down to your fence or whatever. You know, something like that. But that's that's kind of nice. This comes with it, so if you can use it, do it. Well made. Okay, we've got everything out of the package. Here's the little dealy bob. <laughs> We're gonna screw that up to our block now, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a drill, and I've got a small drill bit on here. They, they're they kinda crazy. You can't take this off. Let's start all over, because uh, okay. I was... It's time to install the main bracket. This first bracket, with, with the turn on here, I'm gonna put that up first. And it's all in your directions, don't worry about it. Okay, this is the next step after I got my blocks up. If you need to install the blocks, and I've got a drill, I've got a really small drill bit. I want to make sure it's a little bit smaller than my actual screws. But see, up here on the block, I've already did some pre-measuring and stuff, and I know that this is going to go right there. So I've got to hold that. I'm going to have to hold my hand, my mouth just right. And can you do all this stuff on your own? Yes, you can, but it's nice to have somebody to help you. And I got Frankie here. Thank you so much, Frank, for helping. Pleasure. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna use my drill and I'm just gonna hit it just to start it. I think that's okay. Yep, it's good. Okay, now I can drill that in. If you think you're gonna just put a screw in that, you might split this out. That's why I like to pre-drill stuff. Okay, now for the next step, be right back to tell you what that is. Yes, there's always a next step. I've got to find my, my little screws. And I'm just going to drive these in. Now, if I had a long extension here, I'd be better off because I can't get my drill in there all the way without it hitting. Okay, so I'm first going to take my screws. I'm just going to run them in and out a little bit. Boy, you know what? That's the wrong screw. I used the wrong tip, didn't I? My loss is your gain. See, I used my tip. I used, it's too big of a tip for these screws. I've got a smaller tip here for my drill. I'll put that in there. Got to make sure I don't mess up my screw here. I'm just going to put that in and out a little bit. Because most of that screw I'm going to have to put in by hand. Yeah, hot too. Hot potato. See why you have to pre-drill stuff? You don't want, I wouldn't want that to strip or split off or run on me without getting it started first. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but you know, it'd be nice and easy to do. We get this bracket up there, okay? Okay, so we're gonna keep the camera going. I'm going to hold the bracket up there. And it's up. Ah. Yeah. Another reason why. If you have drill bits, you want to get an extension. If you get an extension, it usually has a magnetic holder on it. So I'm going to try to hold this up there. I'm just starting. Okay, Frankie, can you... Grab me the other screw. <laughs> we dropped it on the. I dropped it on the ground. Okay, I've, I've got good eyes. Okay, I've got the other screw here, and I'm just gonna put that in. Okay, where is it? Oh. I Just get it started, I guess. So I can't drill it all the way in because my drill shaft is in the way. If I had the extension, I could do it. But now I'm gonna use a screwdriver. If I can find it, where did it go? Oh, I got one in my pocket. That's another reason my loss is your gain. Wear your nail bag if you got one. I hate working without my nail bag on. But I don't have one here. I gotta get one. Okay, I've already made the deduction that I'm flush with the edge of this block and I got it flush. Now these screws are nice and easy to put in. There's no way you're gonna put that in if you don't pre-drill it. Okay. Even then, it takes a little bit. That's because I made the drill bit just a little bit smaller. I'm flushing that up. Looks fine. And incidentally, if I wanted to have done that right against the wall, I would have used the different screws on this bracket. So you can mount it front, sideways, or up to a ceiling. Then you'd have to re remount this and swivel it a different direction. It's all in your directions, okay? So now the next step is we've got to hold the whole thing up here. We're going to put it on this shaft. That's why it's good to have two people doing this that way. 
you need a buddy to help you, it's probably the best way to do this, okay? So we're gonna pull it up there and I'll be right back and show you how it's done. On the back side, just two screws it'll keep it. That's all I have for this time, but I'll be back yeah, with more videos. If you put a thing up the flag thing.